Hello, Jason Moore here from Guitar Solo Dojo. And that, of course, is the Ice Cream Man solo off of Van Halen 1, the great Eddie Van Halen. I'll put my metronome aside here now. So anyway, we're going to break that down a little bit, piece by piece, starting with that crazy intro, that huge stretch, which uh, has been interpreted a lot of different ways, most of them incorrect. But after looking at live videos, anybody can see now how he actually played it. So it looks like this. <laughs> One of these typical Eddie Van Halen stretchy things, but even more, and all the symmetrical stuff that he always does. So this transfers to these other strings like this. That's essentially what we're working with. So we have the 19th fret, the 16th fret, and the 12th fret. Also on the high E string, he drops in the 14th fret, so it looks like this. That's sort of the pattern on, on the high E string. When he drops down to the B, he jumps ship early and goes to the G string. Same thing when he goes to G to D. It's a nice smooth way to get from string to string on a crazy lick like that. Um, and then we get this. Key on that part. It's just triplets, okay? So we have a basic triplet on, we have the bend on one, one, and then two and a, three and a, one, and a, yeah, four and a, one and a, two and a, okay? So it's all these, it's like five triplets in a row. Yeah, so it's one, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, and then we do a bend here on two again, or three. Okay, but he doesn't do it like this. That's the rhythm, he uses his right hand. And every time he taps onto that right hand, he's sliding up, so go. So it's still a quaster triplet, so that's how you want to break that down, though. And make sure that bend comes right in on three. In the classic bar dive course. That part just a basic blues lick. You'll see that a lot, not just from Eddie, from a lot of different players, but it's the idea of just this. Except throwing a little obnoxious little bin here, cool obnoxious. And there's this really cool thing where he bends the 12th fret on the G then grabs the 14 on the B and drops down to this C-sharp minor pentatonic slash blues pattern. And then we get to the classic bluesy, which is just one measure of triplets. And then another measure of triplets, a half step lower. And then the third measure. So what he does, he plays the first two triplets on beats one and two, and then shifts up to this other position right on beat number three. So we got on that la the third measure. And one of my favorite things of all is when he grabs the B string and the G string with the, and, and a bend with the same fingers, then follows it up with these huge two whole step bends on the B string with one whole step in at the end. Same thing on this, it's all about timing. Eddie is all about timing. And this last little part, just both quarter note triplets, so. Then back to this riff we had earlier. Just a little bit of noise in there in between. Then another symmetrical pattern based off of this shape. And that's the basic breakdown. You can look at a transcription. There's some good ones out there. There's some bad ones out there too. But you can kind of use what I'm doing as a guideline and have fun with that.